Remember, keep your head nice, straight forward, and look at that wall. I was a traditional guardsman, and I saw an opening for an uh, active duty MTI with the guard. And I kind of thought it was a long shot. I really thought I would get it, um, but I did, and here I am. And um, I'm so, I'm so glad that I decided that that's what I was going to do. A word, heart. Coming into being a TI, I kind of knew what to expect. I mean, um, it's long hours. It's you have to be comfortable in front of teaching in front of people. Um, you have to be able to to lead people to set that example to, for them to emulate. It's challenging. I'm, I'm not going to say that it's not a challenge, um, but I love a challenge. I, I know that about myself. I know that, um, I don't want to say I get bored easily, but I'm always looking for the next challenge. There is that perception that, you know, TIs are mean and we yell at people all the time, but there's always a reason why we're yelling or screaming or, you know, because we're teaching. It's all about the switch. I call it the switch. When you get to work, you know, you switch it on, and that's your focus, and your focus is this training the best airmen that we can train for the Air Force. I want them to think back on their sessions training and say, you know what, we got the best tools that we could get in order to prepare us for what's, what's to come. But I think what was most unexpected to me was the changes I saw within myself, but it allowed me to grow, really to capitalize on my weaknesses and turn them into strengths. It's very rewarding. Um, I think that in the MTI career field, we're allowed to make a huge difference um, with a huge amount of, of airmen. You want your voice projecting towards which way they're going. You know, my goal is to make sure that we give the Air Force the best product that we can and we make the difference. It's not always about you. It's about your people and it's about what you can do for them.